I want to talk about a really great book series today and it's called The Queen of the Tearling and it's by Erica Johansson and this is what the first book looks like, Queen of the Tearling. Second book, The Invasion of the Tearling and there's a third book coming out. I don't know when because I'm not that big of a of a booktuber. I don't know when book releases come out. I should know that. That should be a thing I get into. It is a fantasy series a, I want to say high fantasy, it's very epic, you know, there's queens and sword fighting and things like that, and there is magic elements, but it's also kind of a future story. Without giving too much away, there are some, I don't want to say science fiction elements, but it's definitely not like a make-believe land in a make-believe time. It is... Before we get started, for those of you who don't know, when I hold this thing up it means that there's spoilers, so if you see it, just mute really quick. Just mute it, and then and then unmute it, because then I'm going to go back to the thing. It is Earth in the future. So, because of that it's very different. It's very, it's this kind of interesting concept, which I'm sure isn't a new concept, but it's one I've never read before, I don't believe. And I didn't know that going in. I just thought it was this high fantasy thing, which I actually don't have a lot of books like that that I love. I have the problem where I compare every high fantasy type series to my favorite, obviously. Like, can't beat Tolkien. You can't, no one is better than Tolkien. And sure, argue with me, that's fine. Um, I, it's just my favorite. So personally, I compare every high fantasy thing with this and because of that I don't actually seek out many others because I just feel like I'm going to get disappointed. Um, I do like Game of Thrones. However, my opinions and feelings towards Game of Thrones are very complicated so I'm not going to get into it right now, although I have not actually read the books. I've started, but again, that's too much. So. When I heard about Queen of the Tearling, it was, I think I read an article about it online that s compared it to Game of Thrones and said it was a better feminist story. It's being told from the point of view of a young woman, Kelsey Rayleigh Glenn. Oh, Kelsey, she's so great. And then also in the second book, there is another woman character who you get to see her. The main characters are female, and this is a high fantasy that I like. And I know, I know there's like no women in this, and I'm okay with that. It's my favorite, obviously I'm okay with that. But it's, it's really cool to have this high fantasy where the most bad character, and the villain, and this other side, like there's just, it's all women, it's all about women. That just makes me happy. It's so good. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna, I need to, I need to talk about a scene I just have to, I can't do this video without talking about the scene. Kelsey loves books and she wants everyone in her kingdom to have access to physical book copies and she wants to create a printing press. It hasn't happened yet and I hope so much that it happens in the third book because it's so great that that's what she wants her legacy to be is books and reading in her kingdom and that's one of the reasons why I really love the series is because it talks about just the importance of books. And there's a particular scene in this where um, they're in her library, she has her books from her childhood, they, they, they brought them back, and one of the women who lives with her has children, and the children spend most of their time in this library reading uh, because they love books. And there's this scene, there's this moment, and she doesn't even say the names of the books, but you just know. And she says, and then the children found the seven books of rolling <laughs> and of course of course that's harry potter she's talking about harry potter because this is this is technically the future of our world even though it's you know there's there's knights and swords and you know it's this kind of medieval past thing but it's the future so harry potter is a book that exists oh my gosh so of course I was getting emotional while I was reading that. And then, if things weren't already perfect, the oldest daughter 
is looking at the books and she really wanted an adventure book but all the adventure books had boys in them there was no girls in any of these adventure books so um so kelsey brings out a group of books and says okay well here's here's a book there's no women in this book but if you get through this one there's women in the rest there's women in the second book and she says well why why can't i just skip the first one then why can't i go straight to the one that has girls in it she says, no, 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 got to read them in order. You'll appreciate the story more if you do it that way. And I forget how they even, like, mention it. I think she says, and then she took the Tolkien books or something. And it was like, oh, no, it's, um, they said, Kelsey said that she wished sh she could just take the time to read the Tolkien books, but she had to go do Queen stuff. But... But, oh, this Lord of the Rings. She's giving her Lord of the Rings. And those are like my two favorite series of all time. Ultimate high fantasy, ultimate modern fantasy. But they're that for a reason. So I love them both so much. Can we just, can we just like, and just like take these? There. <laughs> well, this review has made a turn for the weird. Oh, I'm so, no, oh, I need the third book. Tell me if you're watching this and you've read this book and that's what made you click on it because you're like, oh, I read this book. I wonder what she feels about it. Or if you clicked on it because you're like, I haven't read this book. I'm curious about this book and I'm, I'm going to watch it, see if it's a book that I want to read. I want to know because I want to know if like just people who read the books watch the reviews or if, if people who haven't read the books watch the reviews or if both or if you're just watching because you like me, I guess thank you. Um, but, but I want to know, I want to know about the books. Tell me about the books. Thanks so much for being subscribed. Bye. Ciao.